Hello there, welcome back to Ayaztec. In this video, I will show you how to use bootstrap model in your Angular 17. So let's begin. First of all, open your Angular project and within your in the root directory of your project, open the terminal and install the dependencies npm install bootstrap jQuery and popper.js press end and after it is installed you have to open the angular.json file so in this file you need to add some styles and scripts from the bootstrap so let's find it search for the scripts array okay so this scripts array is here and this is uh, for the testing so i will just update this one for now in this array i will add jquery and bootstrap.min and also let's add the popper so let me just double check if this path is correct if you want to double check you just go to the node modules folder and find the jquery first okay here is jquery open that folder within that we have dist folder and in the dist we have jquery.min so this is the correct path now let's verify the bootstrap path so search for the bootstrap folder and within that in the dist folder we have the js folder and within js folder we have bootstrap.min.js that is also correct and now let's find the popper.js folder so this is the popper.js file go to the dist umd and we have the popper.min.js all right we have verified that this path is correct now in the styles array we need to add the styles from the bootstrap okay so i added this style before your uh, main styles.css scss file once that is done now let's generate a new component to hold our bootstrap model code so open the terminal and run the command ng generate component and the component name i will name it model all right the model has been generated and you would notice a new folder in the app directory okay now let's go to the bootstrap official website click on the doc and here we need to find the model in the components area the model and here you will find all of the code that you need so for example we need this button and this dialog so for that this is the code you just copy it and go back to your model component file paste it all right now i will go to the app.component.ts file and as i'm using angular 17 along with the standalone component so i don't need the app module or any other module to declare my model component i can directly just import it in this array model component and now it is available so go to the app.component.html and i'm going to use my component here app model save it now let's start our application ng serve dash o that will start the application and automatically open in the browser okay now we have a button from bootstrap the styling has been applied so let's click on that and you can see that model is working so that is the easiest and the most basic way to use it you can just put your dialog wherever you want to use it so further we will uh, make some changes to add more control and we will try to control it with the help of the angular so now uh, here in the component ts file really let me get the id of the model so this is the id of the model and in the ts file i will use the view child to target that div element and within that i will pass the uh, id of the model that is example model okay. okay so here i will give it a name model element ref make sure to import it and i'm going to make it optional that we could get rid of the error so now i will create two functions open model and close model and in the open model i will use the jquery and give it pass it the native element and then we will use the model function and we will pass the visibility same thing will happen for the close function as well now it is saying that jquery is not defined and we know that it is available in the window so i can just create a variable const dollar uh, is equal to window that so here you can see uh, by default the dollar sign is available that is jquery so we know that it is available in the window so we have to take it from the window so for now to get rid of this error i can just add ts ignore it will just ignore the next line and it will not it will not throw any jquery uh, typescript error now let me uncomment these lines all right now uh, i will uh, get rid of uh, this button and i will create my own button just to test that these functions are working or not so here i added hello and here i on click i will call the open model function david and now so let me check 
if we have access to this element or not yet or well, yes that my problem okay you can see it is saying that it is undefined actually instead of that let me add a template reference variable here so here i will add model like that and now you are able to access this way and let's add the alert again say so, okay this time we have access and the dialogue is being opened let me remove the alert okay it is working so i want to close it a few seconds so here i will add the set timeout after two seconds should be closed let's open it and wait okay you saw that after two seconds it has been closed so i did all this just to show you that you can control the uh, model with the help of the angular now you have control uh, through the angular earlier we were using the bootstrap button to open it and close so as now we have these functions you can use this function you can expose these functions and use it from the parent as well so let me show you how you will close uh, use it from the parent as well so for example uh, i'm going to get rid of now let's go to the app dot component and here in the ts file i will add the view child and here i will select a component that i want to target it is a model component and give it type model com okay now i don't need that button uh, anymore so in the model i will get to that so now here i will add my own button anywhere open it okay now on click i will call a function open and now let's find that function here and now you can see if you as we have specified the type of the component so it will suggest uh, us all of the available features of that component that we can access you can see i typed dot and it is showing me suggestions for every function and properties that so now i want to open it so just call it david and now on that it is still working you know you are controlling from the parent so this is how you can control with the help of the angular so now you can uh, it's up to you uh, you can uh, extend it make it more sophisticated and more features in it for example if you call it you can change the title and the content of it so from the parent so for example in the open model i can expect title and content okay both are the strings and i will create these two properties title and content now as soon as i as this function is called i will update these two values these two properties and then i will show the model i will not show the model for updating these all right now in the model let's use those dynamic titles okay similarly here we need to paste the content like so in this way you can play around with that to add multiple to try out different things now let's pass the title here you can pass the title task is done and here you pass the count now let's open it and you can see that how we pass the content from the parent and now this uh, dialogue is completely reusable so you can we made it generic you can uh, use it in any way in any scenario so, so this was a quick tutorial that where i just wanted to show you how to show the dialogue how to use the bootstrap dialogue and we have done that so if you feel that, if you think that i have provided any value to you then please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to motivate me to keep recording these tutorials for you in the future also please like and share video and if you have any questions or any thoughts or any suggestions then please leave them in the comment section and i will do my best to reply them as soon as possible thanks for watching see you next time goodbye